Hey guys, this is Avon. Welcome back to this three heart run of Ocarina of Time. And it is Shadow Temple Day. But first, I need to refill my milk and go grow up. Thank you, cow. You may be imprisoned forever behind bars in Impa's house, but you have been such a font of goodness for me. So much refreshing and nutritious milk. Nutritious. Coming Sean Connery. Come to think of it, Shadow Temple might be a good one to go in with a, a bottle of magic for. I might have just wasted my time getting the milk. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this down and go buy a magic potion. I forgot the, the potion shop is actually open as an adult, not as a child. I never go buy potions. I never need them. I usually have tons of hearts to work with. It's just that I want to make sure that I'm prepared for Bongo Bongo, which I'm really kind of nervous about. Bongo Bongo is one of those bosses that can get you good even if you have lots of hearts to work with. Why am I walking to the Temple of Time? This is tons faster. It's kind of fun that those spiritual stones are now forever enshrined there. You can always see them and remember, oh, I did that. That was a lot of work. Too bad doing all that work resulted in the land becoming a mess and Ganondorf becoming the king of evil and reigning over all. All right, now we're going to go buy potions. And we're gonna do that this way. I just learned the Nocturne Shadow. How does it go? Why can't I remember these songs anymore? What is the deal? Oh yeah, left, right, right, A left, right, down. One of the cool features of the 3DS version is that, you know, it has two screens, so you can leave the, the, the song blueprint, I guess you can call it, it's not really sheet music, open on the bottom screen and play it on the top screen. Much easier. But this is a direct warp to the graveyard, which is an amazingly useful song to have. No more walking to Kakariko Village. Such a shame it happened so late game. But anyway, off to the potion shop. Can I jump there from here? Am I that skilled? Nope, I'm gonna need the hover boots to make that. I guess I'll walk around this way. I'm kind of curious if I'm remembering right. I think that there might be a better potion I can buy from the old hag. So I'm gonna check there before I settle on the green potion that just says magic. If I'm correct, there's a potion that does both health and magic. But again, I don't usually use potions. I can usually kind of blunt force this game now that I have a fair amount of experience with it. Ultimate potion, yep. Thank you, I will buy it. What else am I gonna use rupees for, really? Blue potion, both life energy and magic power. Okay, awesome. That means we are ready to go and I'm not wasting a heal. Now, I do have to actually play to get back there. Because the entrance to the Shadow Temple is in the graveyard here, but it is also inaccessible from the ground, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, here we are. Turn around, Link, thank you. Now this is a puzzle. And if you look really carefully at this podium, you can see the fire medallion on it. Just to give you a good look here, there's the fire medallion. There is, it is on the podium. That's there because in very early versions of the game, the medallions were going to give you powers. And the, 
what is now Din's fire was basically the fire medallion before. We need to light all these torches at once. Just like that. Do I have to? The Shadow Temple kind of still creeps me out a little bit. It's not like nearly as bad as the bottom of the well that we did last episode, but it's not my favorite place to be. However, I can appreciate how what a well-designed dungeon it is. It's pretty good. So it's talking about the shadow will yield only to the eye of truth. It makes you think that there is a wall here. Actually, there's not. You can just walk through it. Okay, before we handle this, we're gonna go this way. And this temple is really good at trying to freak you out and trick you. Have these random dialogues here. There's gonna be pops. Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred, hidden in the darkness, tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. What is hidden in the darkness, tricks full of ill will. Blah, 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 blah. I know. Ah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! We might have to fight this guy twice in here. I don't remember. Let's get this ready this time, shall we? This time this is gonna go better! If he doesn't do that to me. Die! Die! Nope. Okay. I'm down three quarters of a heart. That's not too bad. I'm just gonna go. Oh no! That's not good! Rude! 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 Very, very rude! Let me go! Okay. Come here. Come here. Rude. Why did you leave so quickly? Okay. I'm down too close to half health. I think I'm still okay to just go. That's a much better spawn point for you. Thank you. Thank you for that dead hand. Okay. And... See how much faster that was? Big Goron Sword is pretty great sometimes. And isn't it just such a nice touch how it stays on the floor for so much longer than any other mini boss you fight? There's the hover boots already. That's the dungeon item. Very easy to miss if you're not actively using the lens of truth. Back to this room. Now, remind me, are there any other doors I can go through? Nope, just those two. Now, which skull is it? It's that one. I have to turn this around so that it faces to the skull of truth, or else I as go into the deep darkness or whatever he just said. So I'm just going to push this around until it points at the skull that is actually not there. Which we just confirmed with the lens of truth. That's what I was doing just now. Here we go. It's this one. Oops! It's not that one. Oops! <laughs> I call myself good at this game. Let's heal up a little bit. I'm already using one of my charges of milk. That's not great. But at least if I need to leave and refresh my milk... It is... Oh, duh. It's the one that is still there, not missing. 
I'm a stupid. I'm not stupid. You should never use such bad words against yourself. You should never put yourself down. There we go. And this is where we use the hover boots. This is like the iron boots in that you have to go in and out of this screen and it's kind of annoying. However, you use them much less often than you do the iron boots. And so it gets a pass. It's a Beemos! Now this room does have a couple of extra fake walls to go into. Um, do I want to be in this room yet? Might as well. Whoops! Let's get this set up over here. Why did I go the wrong way around this menu? When I was a kid, I would play Nancy Drew, and... I would always go the wrong way around the room. You had to click around. It was kind of a point and click game. I would always go in the wrong way, and my mom would always think that was really funny. Now that's open. I found a key, the first one in the dungeon. Okay. Now there is kind of a fun little thing to do in here. This wall, it's saying something. It says, if you want to see a fairy to the other world, come here. Uh oh, no floor. And this gives you a little sneak peek of what is to come. Which is pretty cool. Alright, give me a second here. I need to take care of the little guy. Okay, baby is taken care of and I am back. Yes, you do hear Gold Skotula. That's one of the harder ones to reach in the game, actually. You have to do kind all kinds of crazy things and it's not all in this room. So, since I don't need Gold Skotulas anymore, I'm going to completely ignore it. Okay. Let's head around. Gotten everything we need out of this room. Hi. That was cute. Step outside, look at each other for a second. Oh, we have uh, Gibdos. This is the easy way to take care of Redeads and Gibdos. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the big Goron sword so this is a little faster. Two hits. Awesome, I love it. Now a lot of things are gonna drop magic in this dungeon just because there are so many uh, places where they expect you to be using the Lens of Truth. I'm actually not using it as often as I could be, just because I know where most of them Oh, it's the compass. Have I missed the map already? There's no way that I've missed the map. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't think it's that one. Nope, it's not. One of those little mound things um, has a key or something under it, and so I'm kind of in the habit in this place of just blowing them all up and seeing what happens. Oh, I hate this room. This room always takes me more tries than it should to get through. See, that's why I need the Master Sword. I'm gonna blame that bit of an F suit on the sword I was using, and not on me. 
Why is this one skill two like being such a pain? Thank you for the heart. I'm gonna need that here in a sec. There's the next one. Whoa! See what I mean? Why did you start going up to the ceiling? That was rude. What are you doing? <laughs> right, okay. Oh, it's a mice. Many years ago, I helped my sister get through this dungeon without freaking out by casting it in the context of it's just a cheesy haunted house. Like they have guillotines and skeletons and spiders. Shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Which we're gonna take care of right now. Wall masters. I hate them. I used to be terrified of them. Oh. Yep, and that is why this room always takes so long to get through. Because it starts you from the beginning of the hallway every time. And those dumb guillotines love to dump you into the pit. So I am very familiar with this whole hallway. Thank you for the heart. Okay. And I've almost paid back, gotten money back for the blue potion I purchased. I thought I had timed that better than I did. Try number three. Here we go. Third time's the charm. There we go. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Let's do this. No, I don't think I need the hover boots for this. Hello, bubble. And here is the Sophos. The big Goron sword is a little risky for this fight. Because, you know, no shield. But I kind of want this fight to be done as fast as possible. Whew, okay. Now I'm going to do this number. Why did I have bombs equipped anyway? Oh yeah, I had to blow up that one wall. I think this might be where the map is. I'm not sure though. It might be a key. It might be nothing. All right, we've got a like-like and we've got the hidden. Okay. This. I think this is a key room. I think this is one that I frequently miss because I assume that it's something that I don't need. You're not gonna get me! Oh, you, you got me. I do not want to die to a keys. That would be embarrassing. Milk is getting chugged. Alright. Gotcha. Not without sacrifice, but gotcha. Let's get you while I'm at it. Before you're flying and become a moving target. A little too far. There we go. Now... This might actually just be a Gold Skull Tula room, you know? 
Ah, there's the other keys. I'm gonna find you. I do not want to have to pay for that one. I'm not gonna sing it anymore. <laughs> there we go. Actually, I don't need those hearts. I was about to say I want them, but I don't. Okay. This will be the key. Nope, they're arrows. What the heck? That's a rupee. Yeah, so this was just as Gold Skull Tula room. Nice. That was a total waste of time. Oops. Well, now I could use that heart. I've only got three hearts. <laughs> um. And hopefully I'm standing in the right place here. I am. Hooray! These Song of Time blocks are one of the reasons why Navi is so good. She turns green and flies off somewhere random and you don't know what she's doing. About 75% of the time, probably. It's a Song of Time block. Okay. Cross. So we're gonna entirely ignore you if I can. Concentrating kind of hard here. Oh, there we go. Okay. And now we're going to come across here. All right. Well executed. I like it when I show a little bit of skill. <laughs> This and this. Might as well get rid of this Beemos now. Oops. Those spike traps are the worst. I wish I knew where the map was. But this, by the way, is one of my favorite rooms. That sign over there talks about a stone umbrella protecting you from the spikes and everything. And this, this is pretty fun. There's something kind of satisfying about pushing this block and not getting hit. It is possible to get hit between these two if it lines up just perfectly, like that. But usually you can just push it along. I hope I don't have to do this whole dungeon without the map. Usually, if you get the compass first, you have missed the map. I'm going to actually break this box. If I can. There we go. That's what I want. Sweet, sweet hearts. Okay. Let's continue. Whew. That was close. And just in case, because this temple likes this kind of thing, I'm going to make sure there's not a hole in the floor. Okay. I don't need it, but I got it. I mean, if I, it's, if it's there, why not get it, right? And then the stone block becomes your way up. And come across here. I love the different ways that this room uses its features, you know what I mean? You can walk over the top of the spike traps and just everything like that. Okay. There's the key. 
guess there's still another chest in this room. Knowing this temple, it's a decoy that I... Oh, I know where it is. Oh, no, I don't. Interesting. I wonder where that chest is. Oh, well, I'm sure it's not important. If I have to go back towards the entrance of the temple, I'll see if I can find the map. But it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. No, 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 no! Nice. At least it puts me back in here and not at the hall with the Skulltulas. That would have been... Ah, oh, such a pain. Oh, there's a long shot target up there. So you don't have to ride the elevator to get back up. That's nice. Okay. And across, maybe? Yes. Got it. Okay. We are through. Oh, there's some re-deads in here. I knew there was something in here. Now, because this is a three-heart run, I shouldn't just use my usual tactic of this room and just ignore the spike traps and save magic. I should have used a big Goron sword. Oh, well. I'll take your magic. Thank you. I usually just run right through this room. This temple is interesting because it kind of takes your takes your expectations of what Zelda dungeons are and what the solutions typically are and turns it on their head and what the rewards would be. I just got a chest for killing Redeads. Normally that would be a key. It wasn't. It was a blue rupee, which is totally useless. This one now. Then up he here. I thought I was just about to run right into a spike trap. Ooh, this is another fun room. Let's take care of them before they can cause a problem. I hate aiming with a joystick. It is literally the worst. Oh! What are you doing here? You know, I've never really gotten a good look at their sprite before. That's actually a pretty cool sprite. And thank you for your precious hearts. I do see that gold skulltula there. Get rid of you. I wonder if I could have shot the bomb flowers to cause the keys to blow up. That would have been funny. But that's not all we're doing in this room. We're blowing up the skull. There's my key. Why are you using an arrow for that? I could have done that just as easily with the sword. Without using my ammunition. Alright, Redeads are not back, which is great. I do need to have the Lens of Truth activated. So I can find the target. This dungeon is like that. 
can't figure out how something works, chances are you need to turn the ones of truth on. Time to take out the iron boots again! So I can just ignore this fan. shot right over here instead of having to take out the hover boots in front of a fan. And down. Now, is this the windy tunnel room? It is. Okie doke. Walk right across for now. Deal with the redeads. And that is not a chest. It is actually, I believe, a fairy. Yep. This is a type of a fairy that can just heal you. Because she can't do anything else for you. By that I mean you can't put her in a bottle. Which we're not doing anyway because of the nature of this run. Uh, what do you have to say? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. This has sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they will be led to the hidden path. That's what they're saying. But there is a chest in here somewhere. Is this the one that I need to bomb? Nope. Oh, there it is. I saw it. The action icon said open up there. I had the lens of truth on and I didn't even see it. But it was just arrows, it wasn't a key. So, there's that. Okay. So now, there it is. Side. Here we go. Okay. Oh, give those. And this is the room with the bomb pile. Found it. As far as I know, Redads and Gibdos stay stunned as long as you don't hit them. Once they've been hit with the Sun Song. I could be wrong about that. There's a key. Oops. Good job, me. Deck your nuts. Come on. Come on. Take the pot. Get rid of the pot. Thank you. I don't really have to be doing this with the big orange sword. It's just that it makes it go faster when otherwise. Oh, look at that! They do unstun after a while. Whoops. Oops, 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 oops. I've just been using the big Goron sword because I haven't been wanting to deal with the actual fight. Having to deal with getting stunned and all that. Now this is not going to be the key because that was the obvious answer to solve the puzzle. The key was under the bomb pile. Ooh, we're in the the, the one room, the, the fairy room. And by fairy, I mean F-E-R-R-Y, not F-A-I-R-Y. And this is also a shortcut back to the beginning of the dungeon. So I might actually take it and go find the map. How close am I to the end of the dungeon? I don't think I'm that close. But I might be. But I might not be. Is it important for me to go back for the map? You know what? No. I'm not gonna bother unless I find that I actually need it. Yeah. If I get lost and I don't know where a key is or something, I can always just 
use magic to teleport back to the beginning of the dungeon and have a save point. So you get up there to where that Gold Skull Tula is that we've been hearing by having the Scarecrow, but I've never bothered to go take care of that, so... This is an awesome part of this dungeon. I look forward to this part of the dungeon every time I play the game. Not a huge fan of the Shadow Temple, though I appreciate how well designed it is. But this part is really cool. Alrighty. I think I am not going to just go for a sword for this. Oh, he did half my health in one hit. Is that right? Was I at full when I started this? I need to take care of this guy quickly because I'm gonna have- there he is. Another one's coming. Okay, and now for you. Oh, the end of the journey is coming up here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, before I go take care of the boss, I am going to need to run out of the dungeon to refill my milk. I'm already out. I might just have to... Out! Bye-bye, Stalfos. I usually manage to kill them before the end. Okay. Oh yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of this dungeon. Alright, I do need to take a quick detour. What? I'm gonna set up a Furgor's Wind Point here. And we are going to leave. Um, I thought I could just teleport out from there. I never use this magic! I never need it! Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna really hope that it decides to stick around as I reload the game. Okay, and this is going to put me back at the beginning of the dungeon, because that's how this game works. And I just have to cross my fingers really hard that it's going to do what I think it's going to do. Off to get some milk I go. And now it's back to the dungeon I go. Okay. We're back. Well, almost back. Just gotta actually enter the temple. Okay. Yes. Thank you for working the way I hoped. This is probably meant for situations where you need to... Start and end the game really quick. Well, not necessarily really quick, just when you're in a temple and you need to stop halfway through. And ignore these floor masters and go right to the room I need to be at. This floor master, however, I cannot ignore. It's or it's. It's horrifying little children. There we go. Yes, that is blood on the floor around what appears to be a torture instrument with skulls in the background. Isn't this game charming and cute? This way into this room. Okay, do we have keys in this room? We probably do. Doesn't seem we do. Huh. We do have another Skulltula though. In more or less the same spot as it was in the other room that resembled this one. And hup! Missed. 
I could use my own bombs, but what's the fun in that? Now, which one are you going to be? You are magic. Might as well grab that. I wonder if you can land in these pots. Probably not. They probably glitch you out. Probably an invisible wall on top, just so that you don't get stuck inside of them. As I recall, this game is actually pretty good at stopping you from making mistakes that would get you trapped in places you're not supposed to be in. That said, there are some famous glitches that you can use to speedrun and all that stuff. But if you try to get into the desert from the wrong direction as a kid, you actually find some guards stopping you from doing it. Did that actually kill the keys that were supposed to come out of that? I think it did. The, the blast of the bomb killed the keys that were inside that pot. <laughs> I don't have enough time on that bomb. <laughs> Got it. That's gonna be my key. Nope, it's just rupees. This room was totally pointless. But it made me rich. So there is that. And it wasn't totally pointless if you wanted a gold skulltula. If you were going for all of them. Head around to the last door. This is the boss key door. The first time I did this, this took me so long to figure out. You have these walls that are slowly encroaching on you to crush you to death. And if you don't figure out how to get rid of them, well, you're automatically dead. But I know how to do it. Okay, and I need my ocarina back to stun the get the not the gibdos, but the redeads. Get the useless blue rupee. And you are guarding the boss key. And that's not cool. I want the boss key. There is the boss key. This, by the way, this pot is your clue to what you're supposed to do. Because it's got magic in it. Generally, if the game, especially a Zelda game, is giving you something like a magic jar inside a room with a puzzle, it's because it, you need to use magic to solve the puzzle. Kind of a duh, but sometimes those little cues can go totally unnoticed. Alright, it's not this one, it's the other one. All right, can I do this with regular arrows or do I have to use fire arrows? I think I can do it with regular arrows. That's funny, you can see the little line in the pillar where it's gonna crack. I hope I'm not standing under that. And here it comes. Pow! Right in front of me. I bet that if you're in the way of it, it makes it so that you don't get hit. And there's your other cue. Like I said, if there's a puzzle to solve, it'll give you the stuff to solve it. Okay. Almost done. This room can occasionally take a few tries, though. Just because you've got a joystick to work with here. <laughs> And do I need to go this way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, it's gonna be over here. No, I can just use the hover boots. I might not even need the hover boots. That might be a jump that I can make, but I'm not going to risk it. Okay. <sighs> Are you ready for this? This is a boss that I have been expecting to cause a few deaths to me for the entire run. 
I'm not looking forward to this boss particularly, even though it's one of the cooler ones in the game. Okay, bongo bongo. It's a drum. There he is. And this is a fun boss to get into the lore for. Phantom Shadow Beast, bongo bongo. Okay. Okay, I got this, I got this. Uh oh. And pop. Get out the big Goron sword. Oh, did I get him? Or did he just mit lose his stun? And let him charge. I don't think I got him the first time. Faster. Uh oh! I'm lucky that that didn't get me into the acid around this drum. No, no, no! Oh no, man! I didn't think to put a warp point there. Oh, I'm back at the beginning of the dungeon. I do have ways to get back there relatively quickly, but does my war point happen to still be in effect? I don't think it is. It's not. Dang it. He hits so hard. I'm gonna dispel that war point. I'm going to run back in here. And I'm gonna go cut some weeds and fill up my magic so that I'm going into this in the best possible way. And I will meet you back in the dungeon. Probably all the way back at the boss room, actually. Yeah, I'll meet you back at the boss room. Riding the fairy again. Dealing with the Stalfos again. I don't know how to rhyme. Okay, a warp point goes right here. So I don't have to deal with the Stalfos and the fairy if I inevitably die again. As we've seen, this is going to be a boss that I'm going to have to do pretty much perfectly because I'm pretty sure I was at full and took one one little hit and was dead. But this time I got him for sure. Definitely. Hi, Bongo. No, no, come on, come on. Oh no, I'm dead again. Yeah. Happily, this time, though, I've got a warp point, so I'm okay. I'm good to go. Return to the warp point. And then cast it again. This uses a fair amount of magic, but I think it's worth the hassle. Okay, attempt number three. Uh-oh. And I'm dead. Oh, this is going to take a few tries. It already has taken a few tries. Now, to match my performance on Bulbagia, I need to get it this time, because this is attempt number four. Uh oh. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, switch out to the big Goron sword. And the Kokuri boots. Good hits, very good hits. Switch. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Oh no. Whew. Saved my life. Assuming that it was coming after me. Goron sword. Regular boots. Oh, I got it! I can't believe it! That was so much more painless than I thought it was going to be. 
<sighs> I'm sorry, Bongo Bongo. You are you are really, really cool. My personal headcanon, not, not confirmed in the game, is that the guy who owns the Lens of Truth used it to thief, as a thief. And... His house is where the well was, based on a random NPC conversation that you can that you can t talk to in this game. And he was caught, and his house was destroyed, and he had his hands cut off, which is why Bongo Bongo has his hands cut off of his body. And his house was destroyed, and the well was built where it, where it is now, based on the NPC stuff. And eventually he became Bongo Bongo. Either that or Dead Hand is the thief that the that the uh, old man in Cockrico Village is talking about. Either way, none of that is confirmed in game. Hi, Impa. The boy with the noble Zelda Zakarina. As I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. Do you suppose they picked this angle on purpose to highlight the pointiness of her chest? We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is, when we, the Six Wise Ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. She has some good lips. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. It's the Shadow Medallion. I'm all done with the Shadow Temple. That's a lot shorter than I remembered it being. It was probably about the same as the other temples. I just remember that place being really long. Probably because the first time I did it, I was scared. Please look out for the princess. Alright. And with that... We're done for the day. I didn't even use that blue potion I spent a hundred rupees on. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come in handy later. Hooray! Shadow Medallion! And that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Come next time for Gerudo Valley. Entering the Gerudo Fortress, which is one of the best parts of the game, frankly. Super fun. And I will see you there. Goodbye! <laughs>